galaxy! We have a very thirsty Jedi who is mixing drinks in the Darth Vader mug and chalice. A goblet of sorts that has no liquid in it whatsoever. These are some of her favorite items to play with in my play shop. We are back once again to show you what we've picked up this week. Thrifting as well as clearancing or whatever they say when you get things when those things are on sale. This is one of those things. It's a new t-shirt that came in an R2-D2 container. It was for $10. Just uh, the t-shirt and the R2-D2 container together. $10. Had to get it. Jedi is going to be getting the R2-D2 container. Uh, she will maybe grow into this shirt, but for now it just fits daddy. Jedi may very well be bringing other things into the video from across the play shop. I'm going to go ahead and keep talking about the things that are new, but we could also talk about the Darth Vader football, which some people may not have realized exists. It's actually a pet toy, but you know, if you ever want to pass around the dog skin, uh, this is this is what you can throw around. I think that's what they call it when it's a dog toy. It's not an official football, although they do make an R2D2 football. I've seen it uh, at the Disney parks and through the Disney parks app. We have not actually picked up the Darth Vader. I'm sorry, R2D2 football. There is an R2D2 football. There's also a Kylo Ren basketball, but I also didn't get that. Even though that was on clearance, I passed on it. Not a lot of sports ball stuff. I don't want to influence her in a negative capacity. We do have something that Jedi may turn out to be allergic to. It's a latex dewback. We're hoping that she's not allergic to dewback because we have so many of them. Uh, this was a Disney Parks exclusive, and Disney Parks was running a special where certain things were 40% off. So, of course, I got the latex do back because we didn't have it and it was 40% off. Are you bringing something new? Oh, oh, the old stuff. Okay, you keep mixing. This is how she's I'm mixing. Coffee. She's I'm coffee. making coffee. Hang on, let's show everybody how you're making coffee. Jedi helps me in the morning with my arrow press and she presses down so that she really does help me make my coffee in the morning. I am going to move on with the other new stuff. Uh, these are decorative towels. Normally, uh, you would use the towels to wipe your hands in the kitchen or you know the countertops. These, however, will not be used. They are decorative. They are purely <laughs> decorative. Diana, why are you laughing at me? I've heard of this. I, it's a thing. Yeah, just like decorative <laughs> pillows that I had to deal with for years. That's true. So these are decorative towels not to be used. Uh, also a Disney Parks exclusive, 40% off. Very, very nice. They match the kitchen decor, uh, if only because we have other Star Wars things in the kitchen, and they have so many Star Wars gadgets uh, for the kitchen specifically. We don't even have, uh, we don't even have all of them. Uh, there's uh, something that I'm probably never going to participate in, uh, the run, uh, like a Star Wars, uh, what do they call it, 5K, 4K? She's making coffee just off camera right there. You can't tell, but don't press too hard because this isn't the real coffee maker. She's just kind of jerry-rigged the two mug chalice liquid object holding things. Uh, this is a huge magnet. It's a car magnet. Not that I would ever put it on the car because someone would probably take it, but choice. this is a Star Wars run magnet. Never going to go on a Disney run or run Disney or whatever they call them, uh, but I will continue to collect Darth Vader things. Speaking of, I saw this when I visited Disney World or Disneyland or Disney whatever the one is in Florida. Uh, passed on it because I thought it would be too big. Coffee. She's making more coffee. Y'all got to see my AeroPress uh, uh, tutorial. I've done a couple of them. I do the reverse method. It's the only way to drink coffee. Love it. Uh, you know, the best coffee machine I ever purchased or coffee gadget for like 30 bucks. Um, but if I wanted to drink coffee, I could drink it out of this. Not necessarily out of the bowl. This is a stacking meal set. Comes with a plate, a bowl, and a tumbler. And I'm probably going to be uh, taking this out of the package, if only because the package is far from pristine. I'm not going to open this right now, uh, if only because I want to keep moving along. Uh, you might remember I showed this in the Disney Hall when I went to Disney World. And I was wanting to get a second one. I passed on a second one. Glad I did because then I got a second one half off. And I was able to open one of the Star Tours vehicles. Diecast vehicle, part of the Disney series. So... This one's going to stay in the box or packaging, and this one has come out to go into the growing array of Star Wars diecast vehicles. And speaking of Star Wars diecast vehicles, this was one of the Disney racers that was missing out of uh, our shared collection. Jedi and I share uh, various Star Wars collections. 
if only because I don't know if she's really going to be interested in these as she grows older, so we're kind of growing them together. I'm certainly going to be interested. Uh, this is the BB-8 Racer, and I really like the style of Disney Racers, if only because... Uh, they're very unique. They, they, they're they probably styled more like the actual characters, more so than uh, other die-cast vehicles. Okay, fine, then you can take the BB-8. I wanted to show them the BB-8, but for some reason she hides all the toys and stuff <laughs> behind the Darth Vader chair. Whatever she's doing back there is I'm, like, toppling all the other Darth Vader things back here. Uh, speaking of BB-8, this is another BB-8 uh, gadget, a wind-up toy that has movie authentic sounds as it rolls along couple of wheels on the bottom. That's how BB-8 rolls. That's a nice car. Yeah, that's what I thought. See how it's really round, rotund? Uh, that's, you know, very styled very differently than the other Disney racers, but specifically because it would match BB-8's style as a, a car. So there are those two. Let's see here. What else have I done? Uh, I ended up picking up a second one of these, if only because I wanted to gift Slav, Jasmine, and Adele because they've been so nice, and Slav has been very, very helpful and friendly in terms of, uh, giving so much of his time for Galax R. Oh, that's just something that we could put here in the pinchers, which we have to be careful with, Jedi, because those could hurt. That's an owie thing back there. But it's a photo holder, so you put a photo back there. Uh, I really, really like this a lot, and so I, I had to get another one, and I knew I wanted to give a nice gift uh, to them, if only because uh, I don't think I could give them enough, and they've given me so much. And I, I don't have a lot of friends, uh, but I, they are a family that I would count uh, as, as definitely uh, family friends. Uh, I think that's just about it for this week, minus a couple of other things. Uh, that I, I guess I don't have around me, but I did find these uh, at a thrift store. This is uh, issue number one of Star Wars. It is uh, a, a reprint, and you can tell specifically because of the diamond and the price inside the diamond, plus there's no barcode. But I got these three uh, vintage or original run uh, uh, Marvel Comics, Star Wars Comics, for 15 bucks, so about $5 a piece. They're not in great shape. I already have, thanks to somebody for gifting the entire run to me. I already have the entire run of the Marvel Star Wars comics, but these will go inside of Jedi's comic box bin thing, and I've been collecting a lot of fun comics, Star Wars comics, and as she gets to reading comics, I want her to have a wide array of comics at her disposal, and certainly some uh, vintage Star Wars comics will be a part of that. Uh, so those were uh, thrifted. I thrifted so much this week. I really did, but a lot of small stuff, a lot of, uh, you know, smaller figures and things and some things that we're going to be reselling at, uh, at Galaxar as well. So Jedi, thank you for helping me today. I thought you were going to be more here rather than, you know, making coffee and, and, and stuff. Oh, you did open it. Yes. That's not really something that we need to keep though. Thank you. That was just kind of a, you, mommy helped and baby helped. Yes. Thank you so much. Now we're going to put everything away. Daddy's favorite parts. Of, of getting things out is putting things away. That's, that's it, everybody. Okay, can we say, may the force be with you?